What's good guys, if you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, make sure to use my discount code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase on making that team better. Apart from FC coins, u7buy.com also provides more game services like top op mobile games, gift cards, game keys, etc. Click my link in the description and enjoy the cheapest prices now. Yo YouTube what's going on and welcome to another video to the channel y'all yeah, boys and today we are gonna go ahead and review that 92 radio ultimate birthday icon Alessandro Nesta now obviously he's not that expensive so for those of y'all boys that don't have a lot of coins and need maybe just maybe a solid CB this might be your guy we're looking at a card it's 92 rated 6-2 on the height medium high work rates three star skill moves five star weak foot with that right foot Acceleration type is controlled, 81 pace, 66 passing, 74 dribbling, 95 defending, 87 physicality as well. Play styles that the card comes with, power header on basic, bruiser on plus, slide tackle on plus, anticipate, intercept, block, all on basic, acrobatic, and aerial as well. Now there's only one chem style to give Nesta. You gotta boost up that pace because 81 pace at this stage of the game is not top tier. Acceleration goes up to 86 with the Shadow Chemistry style. Sprint speed goes up to 92. Everything in the defending category gets maxed out, which is absolutely amazing. 92 strength, 88 aggression is a great combination. What I don't like is that he has 61 agility, 60 balance, and no jockey play style. I have a feeling that the turning and the jockeying on this card is going to be really, really bad. Hopefully, I'm wrong. But Nesta is going to be playing with this amazing team right here. Shout out to the homie Professor. In a 4-3-2-1, I clicked on the other formation. In a 4-3-2-1, as a left CB, right next to that Akanji card. Now, obviously, I'm not expecting this card to be a top 10 CB in the video game. My expectations are very low, but he has good defending, good physicality. We want to see if the pace is a liability in these Foot Champs games right now. Here we go with game number one versus SH Knights. All right, let's see what type of team he has. Uh, that team is pretty good. Currently, we're on old gen, guys. I do apologize because, like I said, I am on Xbox, and on Xbox, there is a certain amount of accounts you can log on to to play on next gen. And this account, unfortunately, it has the glitch, so we're testing out Nesta on old gen. I do apologize in advance. Oh man, this man just got cooked. This man just got cooked the first play of the game. Come on. Oh shit, that turning is absolutely terrible, but that pass was nice. Very nice. Clutch block right there to not let Benzema score. Great tackle. Very nice. Probably gonna hit Benzema right here, and he does. But Nesta with the great physicality to body him off. Ooh, that was nice. He bodied Sidon pretty nicely right there. Very pass once again. Let's go. Stops Benzema from a kickoff glitch. Very nice pass. I do like that they gave him the five star weak foot and not trouble with the five star skill moves because that would have been terrible if they gave him that. Great tackle right there. Ooh, once again, good tackle versus Benzema. This man just got Y balled, bro. What the hell? See Nesta versus him. Nice. Great tackle. Doesn't keep onto the ball, unfortunately. Good ball right there. Nesta versus Kerr. Very nice. Nice and clean tackle. Great tackle. This man is clamping up Kerr easily. Very nice interception. That was great. Let's 
So once again, just testing out that turning. Very slow, but that's expected because he has low agility and balance. Nice interception. Does a great job in keeping out to the ball once you manually select them. Very nice, man. This team of the year Kerr is not doing anything versus his Nesta. Very nice. Great stuff. Very nice on blocking that finesse. We just got wide ball. We just got why? What is that animation from Nesta? Why did he just fall to the ground? What the hell? Let's see, Nesta versus Mbappe. Oh my goodness, that pace. That pace, bruh. It's very tough to catch up to Mbappe, man, with this pace. All right, at least he blocked that shot. Great tackle, nice and clean. Great tackle. Let's see Nesta versus Best. He's gonna be able to catch up. Actually does. Not bad, not bad. Come on, Nesta, you gotta, you gotta stop him, man. You got at least alright. He stopped him, but not at the way I wanted. It's a good pass to be fair. That's a great ball from Nesta. All right, he gets there. Very nice interception. All right, boys, and that concludes the review for 92. Rated Ultimate Birthday Icon Nesta. Coming around 250,000 coins on the Xbox and PlayStation market. 244,000 coins on the PC market. Now, this card literally got released today, and he's already under 300,000 coins. I'm going to be honest, guys, rightfully so, because this card is way behind the power curve. Like, guys, I don't know what they were thinking dropping this car with that pace. But I'm going to go ahead and say that that pace is a major con. And I usually don't try to talk bad upon the pace on certain cards. But the pace was very noticeable, man. When you're going against an Mbappe, this car will get burned. But obviously, there are some pros with this Nesta. Number one, he has five-star weak foot. He's able to pass out the bag with either foot with that 81 short pass. Five star weak foot is very solid for a CB, very underrated pro. Next pro is that he has medium high work rates, great work rates for a defender. Next thing I do like from the card is him being 6'2. You guys know me, I love my CB 6'2 and taller. And then you combine the height with the two best aspects from Nesta, and honestly, the only good aspects from Nesta is the defending and the physicality. Talking more specifically about the physicality, his body type. 92 strength, 88 aggression. I will say he has a very, very big and stocky body type in game to the point. If it's one-on-one -on -one defending and you don't have to rely on the pace, Nesta will win the tackle 10 times out of 10. That's how insane his physicality is. Now, defensive AI and the defending in general is pretty good as well. Interceptions, 94, going up to 99. If you're somebody that loves to manually select your CBs, and you intercept the ball a lot. You're gonna like this card because he does have intercept on basic and anticipate on basic as well. And then he has bruiser on plus, which is a great play style to have. I forgot to mention that. That makes a lot of sense on why he's so aggressive and wins every single tackle. So defending physicality, big pros right there. Let's get into the next thing I do not like about the card is that agility and balance. At this stage of the game with 61 agility, 60 bounds, he doesn't even have a jockey placed on basic. The jockeying on this card is really, really slow. And not only the jockeying, the dribbling out the back is really, really slow. He has 69 dribbling with his body type. Turning in tight situations or turning out the back, especially in bad gameplay, is a big no-no for me. Now, if you do pack this card and you're contemplating whether to start him, make sure you have somebody very very and i mean very quick next time like a carlos alberto 
or like a Lucio or one of the team of the year defenders. Just somebody with 85 plus pace has to be next to his Nesta to bail him out whenever he gets LB wide or burnt out because this Nesta will get outpaced time to time, especially if you're going against cards like Mbappe's and R9s. He's not a terrible card, but by any means, there are so many better options at this stage of the game, and it kind of makes sense why he's already very cheap. For those of you guys that packed Nesta, or if you guys bought him for whatever reason, maybe you guys are doing a past and present AC Milan team, maybe you guys grew up watching Nesta, and he's one of your favorite defenders of all time, because let's be honest, it was a very good defender back in the day for AC Milan. You guys let me know in the comment section down below if you guys like Birthday Nesta or not. Now this card is definitely usable. By any means, don't think me talking bad about the card. I'm not trying to say he's not usable, but he's just a little bit behind the curve. And probably in like in a month or two, he's gonna get outdated. But he is gonna get a thumbs up for me because I can definitely use this card if I were using him on my own account. I would not mind, but there's, like I said before, way better options. So he's gonna get thumbs up and he's gonna get a rating of a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, average, average CB at best, maybe slightly above average because of that defending and physicality, but the agility balance and pace just hurt the card a little too much. Thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos. You guys are absolutely amazing. We got a lot of videos to review. This Nesta to Shimini SPC that I probably dropped the video before. Then we got the Ultimate Birthday Raul, Ultimate Birthday Pirlo, Ultimate Birthday Goretzka, and we got an Ultimate Birthday Stushka. So we got a lot of reviews to drop this weekend. Until next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA. I am out. Bye-bye.